In this video, we're going to be comparing simple interest to compound interest uh, for paying back a loan of $2,000 after two years. So for the simple interest, again, we have John borrowing $2,000, and he has to pay it back in two years. So our initial amount here, the principal, is $2,000, and our interest rate is 0.06. And we'll need to use those with this formula. We have P outside of 1 plus RT for simple interest. And the time is going to be two years. So let's go ahead and plug in those values. So I'm going to have 2,000 outside of 1 plus 0 0.06 times 2. So I'm going to have 2,000 outside of 1.12. I'm going to multiply that. Let's go ahead and do that on my calculator. I get a value of $2,240. So we'd have to pay back $2,240 after two years. Let's go ahead now and look at if this was compound interest. So remember for compound interest, our function is A equals P outside of 1 plus I to the N. So we need to calculate I and N before we can begin this calculation. So I will be our interest rate divided by our number of compounding periods, which in this case, because it's monthly, is 12. So our I value is 0 0.005. N is the number of times this is compounded. So we have 12 compounding periods. And we have two years. So N is 24. So using that function, we have A equals $2,000 borrowed multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.005 to the 24, which is going to be 2,000 times 1.005 to the 24. So let's get my calculator. 1 decimal 0 0.005 to the exponent 24. And we're going to multiply that by 2,000. So we have to pay back $2,254.32. So $2,254.32. So which option should John choose? If we look at the two options, John should choose simple interest because it's going to cost him less money. 